how to pick the perfect sunglasses for your face shape. First off, you'll need to determine what your face shape actually is. To do this, grab a dry erase marker, a tube of lipstick, a bar of soap, or a pencil. Any of them will do. Stand arm lengths away from a mirror and look straight ahead. Carefully trace the outline of your face on the mirror's surface. Then, take a step back and look at the resulting shape. Yours will be one of the following six types. Round face. You have a round face if its length and width are almost identical. Your chin is small and rounded without any sharp angles. The hairline is smooth and rounded as well. Your task is to visually lengthen your face, so choose glasses with dark frames. They narrow the face and bring its contours closer to an oval shape. To balance your facial proportions, choose a frame where the width is greater than the height. Suitable styles for round faces. Pointed, regular, and square frames. Cat eye glasses, butterfly glasses, aviators, wayfarers, and any glasses with narrow bridges. With a round face shape, you should avoid round glasses, narrow frames, those with sharply defined edges, geometrically shaped specs, and any that cover your eyebrows. Oval face. Is your face's length slightly greater than its width? Then you have an oval face. Your chin is rounded and your cheekbones form the widest part of your face. The width of your forehead is a little bigger than that of your jaw. In this case, your main goal is to not disturb your face's perfectly harmonious proportions. Lucky you! The frame of your glasses should be as wide as your face or a little wider. Make sure that the top of the frame is in line with your eyebrows. What will suit you nicely? Those with smooth lined frames like rectangular, oval, or round, butterfly glasses, aviators, and cat eyes. Steer clear of glasses that appear too massive, those with sharply defined edges and ones with narrow frames. Square face. A square face has a width and length that are nearly identical. The chin is broad and angular. The cheekbones, jaw, and forehead are all of equal width, and the hairline is almost straight across. Your task is to soften your face's sharp angles and visually balance out your overall facial proportions. To achieve this goal, go for large glasses, ones where the width of the frame equals the width of your face. Oval, round, or teardrop-shaped frames. Glasses with colorful frames, the cat eye style, aviators, or frameless glasses. Not suitable styles? Square frames with sharp corners, small, narrow, and petite frames, and glasses with a frame that's wider than your face. Rectangular face. This is your type if your face is longer than it is wide. The cheekbones, jaw, and forehead are all of equal width. The chin is broad and angular, and the hairline is almost straight. Aim to make your face appear visually broader. Go for large, massive-looking glasses. Also, make sure they have thin frames that match your skin tone. Some suitable styles for your face are, again, large-framed glasses, aviators with large frames, and glasses with round frames. Not suitable styles? Narrow frames, small glasses, and those with bright, colorful frames. Heart-shaped face. You have a heart-shaped face if your chin is the narrowest part of your face and your forehead is the widest. This gives the appearance of a face that gradually narrows from top to bottom. This type looks kind of like an upside-down triangle. Your goal is to balance out the upper portion of your face by making the lower part appear bulkier. Massive-looking glasses won't help at all. They'll just add more weight to the upper part. You should choose glasses with frames only as wide as your face and no bigger. You've got a lot of styles to choose from, though. Round glasses, small frames with a narrow bridge, those with low-set arms, aviators, wayfarers, frameless sorts, and neutral-colored frames. Then again, you've got a lot of styles you should avoid. Glasses with large and heavy frames, those with sharp, pointy outlines, ones that cover the eyebrows, butterfly style, teardrop-shaped, cat eyes, and brightly colored frames. Triangular face. This face shape is slightly longer than it is broad. The chin is wide and square, while the cheekbones and forehead are narrow. Overall, the face becomes narrower toward the temples. What you want to do is trick the eye to broaden the upper half of your face while making the lower portion less conspicuous. Choose sunglasses with a large, wide frame. Some styles to suit your triangular face are round glasses with bright decorations, aviators, cat eyes, and frameless. Just make sure the glasses themselves are wide. Not suitable styles? 
glasses with square or rectangular frames, those with narrow or small frames, and any with sharp outlines. What else is vital when choosing a pair of sunglasses? Number one, UV protection. If your eyes get too much UV radiation, you can suffer from problems like cataracts, cancer, and burns. That's why, to protect yourself from such risks, pick sunglasses that block at least 95% of UV rays. Don't buy sunglasses labeled cosmetic, or those that don't give you any information about UV protection. Number two, comfortable fit. Sunglasses shouldn't feel uncomfortable, like they're too small and squeezing your head. Their weight should be distributed between the ears and nose, not the cheeks. Your eyelashes shouldn't touch the lenses or frames. They also shouldn't lean to one side, making you constantly adjust them. Number three, lens color. Gray lenses reduce the intensity of light, but they don't distort colors or affect contrast in any way. Brown lenses will affect the contrast by blocking some blue light. This makes them perfect for winter sports in the snow. Yellow or amber lenses strengthen contrast as they block almost all blue light. Remember, because they decrease color recognition, they aren't the best sunglasses to wear while driving. Blue and green lenses enhance yellow contrasts, so if you like to play tennis, these sunglasses are exactly what you need. Number four, lens material. You have to be careful what material the lenses are made from. Use only scratch-resistant lenses, because sunglasses that get scratched become useless. Lenses made from NXT polyurethane are a great choice. They're scratch-resistant, lightweight, durable, flexible, and have fantastic optical clarity. They are pretty expensive, though. Glass lenses are heavier and not that cheap, either. They also tend to spider if you're unlucky enough to drop your sunglasses. You may also choose polycarbonate lenses. This material isn't as scratch-resistant, and its optical clarity isn't ideal, but the price is more affordable. Acrylic is the most affordable option, but lenses made of this material are the least durable, and their optical clarity is the worst. Plus, sunglasses with acrylic lenses can sort of melt and deform when exposed to heat. Number five, test sunglasses for UV protection. Take a UV flashlight and shine it through the lens of the sunglasses at any fluorescent object, like a pen cap, an earphone speaker, a marker, or a sticker. The better the glasses are at filtering out ultraviolet light, the fainter the object will glow. Number six, test sunglasses for polarization. Polarized lenses filter out reflected light, remove glare, and reduce eye fatigue. Finding out whether your glasses have polarized filters is super easy. Just look at a reflective surface with your bare eyes, then put on the glasses and look again. If the glasses are polarized, the glare should disappear. You can also try rotating the glasses on your head. Under certain angles, the glare will disappear and then reappear. Do you have your own advice for finding the perfect sunglasses? Tell us in the comments below. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Join us on the bright side of life.